HBCU family. Um, let's let's talk. Let's talk because if you remember last season, I made a video saying that one of HBCU's best receivers plays in the SEAC, that he is a Division II player and not at the Division I level, but he has Division I talent. Well, that kid's name, if you don't remember, is Jamal Jones, and he's coming from Allen University. Now, the reason why I say he's coming from Allen University is because he's in the transfer portal. And every time, because, you know, of course I'm going to follow him when I make that claim, he, every time I see his social media, it I'm not seeing enough offers i'm not seeing offers from division one hbcus and i'm i'm trying to wonder why i'm trying to figure out why because this is a guy who will legitimately outrun 95 percent of the players on your team he's one of the fastest players the most electric players in hbcu football why is he not getting the looks that he needs I get it. Everybody wants to go after the big guys from the FBS schools, from the Power Fives, but there are kids, there are guys at the Division II level who has talent and can contribute. So while you're all fighting for the top guys from these FBSs, don't forget there are guys who aren't being looked at at the Division II level who have Division I talent. Jamal Jones is one of those guys. He came in in Columbia at Allen University for Coach Keaton. Shout out to Coach Keaton and what he's been doing at Allen University. And he's been balling as a true freshman for a new program. That program is still very new after being cut off. And, you know, after having, I'm not going to say the death penalty, but they their, their program was dead for a little while. And he comes in as a true freshman and what leads the team in receiving yards Something crazy like that. I think he was a, an All-American as a freshman. Listen, what? Jamal Jones need, needs these looks. I'm going to bat for him. I'm going to bat for him. There's a lot of guys who I think at the Division II level in HBCU who should be at the Division I level right now. But I'm going to bat for Jamal Jones. Somebody could use him. Somebody could use him. That's all I'm saying. A speedy receiver who can take the top off of your defense. A Deshaun Jackson type of guy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Valley, what's good? I know y'all don't have a coach. But some, somebody, somebody has to. That's all I'm saying. So if you are a coach at the Division I HBCU level, consider giving my guy Jamal Jones a shot. This is me going to bat for him. He's really like that. I promise you, you will not regret that move. But with that being said, you are watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr, and I'm out. Peace.